Hello everyone and welcome back to Some Dude Plays the Witcher. This is part 3 just after we went to the Witcher stronghold of Kaer Morhen and took out that dang mage Savala who was attacked who was controlling the Frightener. And as we left off now we just continue off and go get um, a specific items for a potion for Triss on the upper floor. Of course we come in right away and there's enemies. And they go down pretty easily. Okay, and then if there's more guys in all the rooms here, they'll run out and attack you. Honey hop. Mess with me and die. Oh, now that was per that was beautiful. And like I said, you go to options, you can turn them off, but they actually help kind of tell you when you need to um, attack, and if you're clicking a bit too fast. Let's just pick it up. More orange money is always good. Flint, uh, I'll be full of that soon. Just need to find out where I have to sell it in the next chapter. Okay, now it's just looting time. Ha ha ha. Always nice. And that is an unknown potion we just picked up. No idea what it is. Eh, we'll try it later. Then we'll find out. But yeah, once you try it, it tells you what it is, so it's no longer unknown unless you get the recipe for it. Now, let's see, we got some bread for vitality. Uh, da -da -da. And then we got some milk, which does um, some endurance regen. For a short amount of time. Now, nothing there. And there's one thing in here that we want to get in the dresser. Bald water. More flint. meat. But yeah, flint's useful for a bit until you get your second side, your sign, Ign Igni, which is your fire elemental one, which allows you to light um, fireplaces and stuff like that. So you don't need to use um, your flint. So it basically makes flint useless except in um, areas where you can't use your attacks. And this book right here, the Frightener book, is really useful. Where, yep. That's everything we needed for the first part of this quest. Especially since Triss has a specific allergy. So you have to, um, do a specific potion for her. Now, here's just the Frightener book, collection of information on an unusually rare monster known as the Frightener, and that has the bestiary entry which allows you to flay it once you learn how to, to get um, ingredients from the thing. Now I'm going to go to journal. Frightener's Eye, Frightener's Claw, Calcium, Equum, and those are our new ingre ingredients now for monsters. You have the Frightener here. Very rare. They're sensitive to sound and basically don't get knocked down. And then the first mage to create a Frightener was the infamous renegade Dagobert Sala, a diligent student of the Zarakenian Masters of Alchemy and the supervisor of the Trial of the Grasses carried out at Kaer Morhen. Upon beholding the abomination he had created, Sala is said to have cried, 
What have I done? He destroyed the monster. His notes have ever survived. So, basically, yeah, that's what happened. Now, if you go here, you have two daggers. You can sell them. They're not very useful. So, you can only pick up one. They're not, they don't give you a lot. And here you have more potions, a white gull, and another book. And in here, you have an axe which sell, sells for 40 gold, which is useful. And we'll read that book on Monstrum. Monstrum or a trip portrayal of Witcher's Anonymous. Indeed, there's nothing more repulsive than these monsters that defy nature and are known by the name of Witcher. As they are the offspring of foul sorcery and witchcraft, they are unscrupulous scoundrels without conscience and virtue, veritable creatures from hell capable only of taking lives. They have no place among the common folk, well, decent and honest folk, and this Kermoran where they, where these villains practice villains nest and practice foul wit rituals must be wiped off the face of the earth and all evil traces of it need to be treated with salt and saltpeter to complete this deed basically that's an important important um entry because it tells where all the battle damage here in Kermorn came from because they were attacked by a mob in the past and that book was spread around before the attack happened. Okay, now it's time to go talk to people. And finally, get some new armor. over there but yeah we'll stop here so you can get a little thing defending common folk Inspiring. yeah that's a witcher facing a cockatrice I believe or is it basilisk now go over here speak to Lambert Chris doesn't say anything. What do you need? Damn. Have all the ingredients? I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast, and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. And now we learn how to do the potion. What do you need? And you can talk to him for more. What do I do now? Talk to Vesemir. He'll give you instructions. And he just repeats what you tell what he tells you. I'll find you. you later. Now we'll talk to Eskel here. Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? What do I use as the base for my potion? Alcohol. The better it Alcohol is, the or and white more powerful your potion. You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. After all, he's always taught swordplay. Still, he tries to teach us everything he learned when he was young, and that was a while back. But to be honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab. And the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. More Vesemir backstory. You, more. you really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and she's done a lot for us. And that for tells you, you how much trust, trust they have her. in her as a sorceress. So why you shown her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such. I've no doubt she'd try, but it's yeah. never that simple. Ever Very much uh, a double-edged sword, like nitroglycerin. An incomparable inventor, like most of his race. Through years of research, he discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries. Though a genius, Alfred failed to foresee his invention's possible applications. 
Others and a reference that to the guy the Nobel Prize was named after. ...could destroy castle walls. Some even considered using it in open battle. I get it. So what happened to Alfred's discovery? Mages stopped it from spreading. <laughs> Leaky Alfred roof committed there. suicide, and his lab burned down. Now Couldn't I'll Triss just have helped skip. with Leo's mutation? Maybe it's a little more complex. Skip that. I'll talk I'll to, talk to Vesemir. Vesemir. That ends the conversation, and you can go right back and talk to him. How can I help? And now Tell about, me about trial the trial of the grasses. grasses. It's a three-stage process. The first is the choice. Leo completed it, enduring the hard training and diet. I presume it's more than your basic lettuce and carrots. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Combined with training, they accelerate muscle growth and digestion, improving the body's general condition. Does everyone pass the first stage? Unfortunately not. Yeah. The liver and heart often fail. Playing with the body's chemicals too, never a good resulting thing. Resulting in excessive aggression. What's the second stage? The trial of the grasses. More idiotic tales have been conjured up about that than about princesses and dwarves. Before the raid, the lab contained vials, hearths, formulae, herbs, and the grasses. A mage and his magic were all that was lacking. Did you ever witness a trial? Just one. Our own. I thought I was going to lose it when your hair turned white. The grasses affect the nervous system, so magic must control the process. The trial results in lightning fast reflexes. Reaction times normal people will never Sometimes attain. I wish I could pause Only this to make smart survive. ask comments without um having to pause well without interrupting them talking. Quite a cut. And the last stage? I don't know the specifics. It involves changes like the mutation of the Extremely eyes, the bone marrow, hormones. In exchange, we see in the dark, heal much faster than ordinary folk, and gain increased resistance to poison. Interesting. What's the cost? We're infertile. The changes are irreversible? Entirely. Bad, but they can have more fun. Did you see the magic storm? Yes, I was out hunting. Just before the storm came, a swarm of night jars took flight. Hundreds of them. Gray streaks across the sky, trilling wildly. Usually less of them gather, and their cries rarely sound so desperate. And of course, this is where the beginning of the, the game started. Headed toward Kaer Morin. Met the others on the way. And we'll we're done later. with that. All the other conversations just knock them back there. Oh, that was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but... I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right. And that I is know. a good thing for you some well of the off. later levels. Take this armor and sword. Upgrade, I've been keeping them yay! For you. Okay. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gall and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need Celandine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. And here you learn how You'll to find play. find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. Yep. Now I'll just talk to him. Yes? What if I get the ingredients wrong? You'll have to find more. Where? I'll have another claw and more celandine. Eskel has alcohol and I saw calcium equum somewhere upstairs. But try to get it right the first time. It's not that hard. You have to purposely mess around to... Are there other witchers? Wreck the potion the there first time. There were three time. witcher schools in all. But it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of, except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An well introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morin, though he would always return in the end. 
After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. Can I ask you something? Of course. Who was Leo? One of hundreds of orphans of yeah, the war now with the Nilfgaard. background on Leo I apprenticed him six years ago. I'm sorry. We'll recover our secrets and find Leo's murderers, even if they fled to the end of the world. Okay. Can I ask you something? Of course. <laughs> now that's a weird um, <laughs> camera angle, but yeah, this is where he tells you about what happened to Kaer Morin beforehand. You mentioned defending Kaer Morin before. Yes. Fifteen witchers once lived here, training boys for their trials. Only they knew the secrets of mutation. Witchers who set out on the path and failed to assimilate among humans wintered here. Before the battle, 23 witchers and 40 students called Kaer Morin home. Too damn few for the mob that attacked. I never knew why they came. Some say a sudden explosion of anger born of disdain for witchers. But no, someone provoked the mob with flyers filled with lies. Special agents read them to the peasants. Truer still, the fanatics yeah, would never have taken idiots. the fort without the aid of sorcerers. Get rid of the people they who hunt down the most dangerous monsters they for you. They didn't even spare the youngest. I alone survived, concealed among the corpses. Walk around, Wolf. The skeletons remain. You may find a flyer. There used to be hundreds. Memorize it as a warning of the evil humans can perpetrate. And witchers get rid of evil. Can I ask you something? Of course. Any idea who attacked? No, but the mage suggests no ordinary bandits. We found pins adorned with salamanders on the dead. The symbol of their organization, perhaps? I sense hard times ahead. We'll speak later. Yep, now that's done. And just wait a bit. Yeah, stud layer jacket, nice and uh, better steel sword. Just waiting for that to go away. Now I'm gonna approach this pi Witcher picture. Witcher George, slaying a dragon. Yeah, it's a nice little picture there. And Witcher George is a member of the Griffin School, which is one of the other two schools, Witcher schools now here. Seems witches have always been better with a sword than with a paintbrush. Yeah. They had some interesting mule murals in there. But now it's time to go outside and see the corpse of the Frightener. Yeah, so I think I'm going to make this episode a bit longer to finish up, um the tutorial so we can get into chapter one next time but yeah these seed cauldrons you use art on them to create vibrations and then you do the spell as well and those vibrations with the two seed cauldrons stun the frightener so you can really start wailing on it and of course this tells you how to extract the alchemical components and if you don't want to pick you just press control when you click and it picks everything up. And very useful. You need to read books to know all the ingredients and monsters and it really helps you later on. And they're done. And that eye is an important item for the next chapter because we'll get the ingredients needed to make a potion with it which will give us an extra bronze talent. Now talk to Vesemir here and we'll do some meditation to make that potion. Yes. Now left click the vial, which is up in the corner right here, click that. And of course, um when you click on it to the left it'll just randomly put your ingredients. 
and these are the ones we need. But later on, you can mix and match to make your own um, potions. And the Vitriol and Reverus are secondary, which can add things like added... Um, Oops, just cancelled it, but it can do like added um, stuff like um, less toxic, toxicity, more regen. Yeah, but make sure when you have the potion there, you click mix, it'll automatically put your meditate up an hour. Click the hourglass, you're good to go. And I'll show you some more alchemy later on. There's just not a lot to do in this first chapter. Okay. Now the potion's made, time to go upstairs. Yeah. Let's see what Askel has to say. How can I help? Okay, nothing yet. We'll talk later. And another thing, if you want to go through the dialog options a bit quicker, you don't have to move the mouse and click on them. You just hit um, hit the number on the numpad, and you'll go through it. So now let's pick up the items here. More wine, yay! So, oh, yeah, kind of a illusion there because you have this nice little page there that you think you can grab okay and in this one if you choose the top two options uh, you get a little bonus uh, oh. and I'll show you in a bit but this one teaches you how to give gifts so you make sure you click on here it opens the menu then you grab the item drag it drop it thank and you good that. I hope this potion helps that was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out, but I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? And this bonus in other versions was censored a I bit. I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive... Hard to compare to anything. Oh. Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Care Morin can hold us. <laughs> yep. More explicit in The Witcher 2 and Witcher 3. But the thing is, you get these cards, and there's many more in the story, but you will never get them all in one playthrough. Because, well, they, of course, you ha depend on your decisions throughout the game. Ah, <sighs> Geralt. A pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Yep. Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward Read to, Read the then. books to know no more. Matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens, their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Yeah, Unless monster dogs. Like to ask me. Okay, don't choose that one because you shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting and that will end and you can, um, and I'll send you to the next chapter, so hit two. Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? He's very powerful. He completely controlled the energy he drew from the circle. We may soon be facing another Vilgefortz. Who? No matter. I have something I'd like to teach you. 
Um, I'm not sure, but there was a mage in the books that Geralt fought, fought that physically kicked his ass. Geralt? Yep. Can you restore my memory? I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? That's difficult to say. It Wait might until the next game. You to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Injury. Geralt, can we go? The theft. What are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What about wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? And now... I need to do something. I'll come back and get you when I'm ready. Yeah. Now you head back down here. Gotta level up, which is good. But that's why you don't jump in, because you want to use those talents until the next chapter. I'm gonna talk to Eskel here. Have you spoken to Lambert about combat? No. He's quick to use his sword, and has quite a bit to say about it. But that's not always the best tactic. And this unlocks the quest a bit early, which is useful. Alright. Yeah, yellow base. And there's a little trick, so when you hit the left button to attack, once you see the damage numbers, hit the right button, just click it, and then click attack again, and basically reset so you can attack the guy without them hitting you once. And there and done. But the nice thing is it opens up a new quest. Not bad. You seem to be in good shape. Eskel, you know I need practice. And we're done we'll talk talking later. to him. But now we need to go and talk to Lambert, who I saw going here. But yeah, looted it. Ooh, more. Didn't realize that one refills. Haha, <laughs> good. Getting more of that stuff is always good. Now talk to Lambert. What is it, Wolf? Any thoughts on the attackers? Amateurs. If not for the mage and the frightener, we'd have beaten them blindfolded. But they had a yeah. mage and a frightener. Witchers they are quite stronger than Leo. normal people. True, but we'll find them. Leo said he almost defeated you. We were sparring when that storm arrived. My medallion jerked so hard I almost fell. The boy saw an opening. Uh, he certainly had potential. Good job taking then care Marigold of that opening. appeared, shaking, delirious. She insisted we chase the wild hunt. Vesemir agreed. He always had a soft spot for her. You dislike Triss? She's and too the wild hunt are very important to the story. Can you tell me about the fighting styles witchers use? The art of combat involves three traditional sword fighting styles, plus a few variations designed for combating monsters. Start with the basic styles. Kier Marin is the wolf school. Old Vesemir always made sure we trained more as warriors than mages, though we also learned the signs. Signs are very Witches useful when combined with um, your sword. There's Adan Enye, the fiery dancer, which we call the fast style. The Viroledin Nef de Fendledit, And they're the talking style. Elvish. The Sumerian devil. Except for the last style. one. Which style do you want to hear about? The fiery dancer sounds interesting. The legendary elven swordsman and poet Nisail created it. Basing the system of steps and cuts on yeah, the observations of Yeah, but there's going to be a lot of episodes like that. This which are mostly talking in guards. very dancer, little and agility combat. Over strength of blows. Though Opponents it might be able to change if to I mix back. things up a bit. The ideal swordsman is a flame that cannot be hurt and inflicts wounds each time it is touched. Nisail himself wrote that. The style is popular among the elven aristocracy. Which style do you want to hear about? Tell me about the Viroledin style. Literally translated, it is the Nine Sun Sword style. 
The swordsman of Verilido developed it as a method for tackling several opponents through complex slashing sequences. They say masters of this style can fight nine opponents simultaneously. Which style do you want to hear about? Yeah. Tamerian devil sounds familiar. <laughs> sounds poetic, but there's little or no philosophy involved. Devised by Tamerian Landsknechts, simple men. It's best against heavy armored opponents. Which style do you want to hear about? And that's done. I think I've heard enough. All right. Can you tell me about the Articom? I wouldn't mind. You noticed we carried two swords? Yeah. That's because some monsters are immune to steel. A normal sword won't cut them. That's instance, why they use silver. Werewolves, vampires, genies, and other magical beasts. The techniques for fighting with a silver sword derive from traditional swordsmanship. But there are a few essential differences. No parries and repasts, mainly steps. Because you get hit, moves, you're basically dead. Acrobatics. I'll be in trouble if I don't get my memory back. You'll be alright, Wolf. Your body will recall all it needs to. Certain things you never forget. Trust your intuition when choosing your fighting style. The devil's best against Kikimors, Graviers, and Fledders. The fiery dancer is absolutely superb against bar guests and ghouls. Listen to this one because you anything that attacks bar guests you fight in the next chapter right away. Us. Thanks, Lambert. No problem, Wolf. We'll speak later. And there's no reason to continue. So we'll head downstairs quickly. Meditate and then um, we'll st stop this um, episode. Even though I went about, well, it's going to end up being a bit longer than I thought. About uh, five minutes over, well, I'll say more like ten minutes over what I usually do. Yes. But yeah, we talk to him, rest, meditate, you know, hit. Oh, it just brings it up automatically, but I go for monster lore, even though others will do this, but this allows you to um, get some more items from the Vargas in the next chapter, and then you do strength, and you get to level 2. Buzz isn't really important because you don't do a lot of things when intoxicated, but then you want to get um, regeneration because that one is very important. Yeah, see it just added Bargas, Beast Fangs, Death Dust, Ectoplasm, White vinegar, cool blood. I'm done. Yeah. So I'll just go here. But like, drowners, you see these guys constantly. Ghoul, same. Graviers, same. And Bargus are the big enemies in the next chapter. And then Formula, Ocean for Triss. Like, these ones tell you how to uh, make white gall and stuff, so you put two ingredients for vitriol and one with rabbis to make it. This one, vitriol, rabbis, and two vermilion, and one hydrangeum. Meow, vitriol, and two aether. Swallow is vitriol, rabbis, and aether. You don't need to make this one again. And cat is rabbis and two Crab Earth, so it's a bit more rare. Glossary, Witchers, Medicine, Mages, Ingredients, Abominal Limp from the Undead, Beast Fangs, Cadaverin, Selendine, Death Dust, Drowners, Brain, Ectoplasm, Cool Blood, Gravity Airbone, and White Vinegar. The characters. I had Trist, you click on this, you can see the card again. Vesemir and Berengar, and then I'll show Eskel, Lambert, Leo, the Mage, and the Professor. Okay, so I'm going to end the chapter, well, the 
part here. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Um, please leave a comment, it help, will help me improve. And if you want to see more, hit the bell so you get notified. And if you want to, please visit my blog, which will be in the description below. So since I'm doing it at night, good night and have a good day tomorrow. Goodbye.